Okay, in this demo, we're going to continue on where we left off with the creating a simple class demo and our customer order solution and business rules project. We're going to add a few methods and a constructor to our class. So let's go ahead and get started. In our customer order solution, in our business rules project, the first thing that we're going to do is rename the class diagram to a more user-friendly name like customer orders. And then in our customer orders class diagram, we're going to add a new method. We're going to right click on the class in the diagram and choose add method. And we'll add the find method. We'll right click on the class again and we'll choose add method to create an overload for the find method. And now we'll create our save and delete methods. Now before we make any adjustments to the details of these methods, let's create our constructor and our overloaded constructor. Again by right clicking and choosing add constructor, we'll right click and choose add constructor one more time. Now we've got our methods, our overloaded method, our constructor, and our overloaded constructor. Now let's go into the class details pane and add parameters to our methods. First we'll set the return type of our find method to person and our overloaded find method to person as well. Then let's add parameters to our find method. We'll add a first name parameter as a string and we'll add a last name parameter as a string. And to our overloaded find method we'll add email address as a string. For our delete method we'll leave the return type set to void and we'll add a parameter called ID as an int. And then for our save method we'll set the return type to person and we'll add a parameter called new person that is the type person. Now let's take a look at our constructor and our overloaded constructor. We won't make any changes to our default constructor but to our overloaded constructor we'll allow you to pass the first name as a string and the last name also as a string. At this point we can save our diagram and then go view our class where we'll add implementation code. In our person class we'll add implementation code to our default constructor our overloaded constructor and some very minimal implementation to our find method. First let's finish up the implementation of this last name property. As you may recall from the previous demo, when we use the diagram to implement properties, they add a system not implemented exception as opposed to the private field. So we'll just replace this exception with the return of the private field last name then the set will set the private field last name equal to the value passed in. Now let's take a look at our find method. In our find method we'll replace this not implemented exception with a simple return statement that returns a new person with the first name that matches the first name parameter and a last name that matches the last name parameter. In the overloaded constructor for the find method we'll do basically the same thing except for this time we're going to return 
a new person and we're just going to set the first name and the last name to the email address of this person that was passed in as a parameter to the find method. Now later on we'll need to extend this implementation with code that actually finds the user in a database. For the save method we'll do a similar simple implementation where we just return the same person that was passed in. For our default constructor we'll set the city equal to unknown and we'll set the state equal to unknown. Anytime a new instance of this class is created. In the overloaded constructor we'll set the first name equal to the first name parameter that was passed in the last name equal to the last name parameter that was passed in and we'll set the city to not entered and we won't set the state. This will become important in our consuming the class demonstration later. Save our solution and that concludes our demo.